Welcome back. Today we're making Italian beef. I'm making this in the crock pot, but in the uh, description down below, I will list how to make it in the instant pot and also how to make it in the oven. This is a really quick recipe. I'm going to add one can of beef broth to my crock pot. I'm going to add two packages of dry Italian dressing. And then I'm going to add to that just about a quarter of a cup to half of a cup of the juice from a jar of pepperoncinis. And then I'm going to add about a half a cup to a cup of pepperoncinis, whatever you like. I like a little bit more. If you like a little bit less, you can add less. And then I'm going to add two to three pounds of roast. You can use any cut of roast you like. I just buy whatever happens to be on sale. I'm going to set this on low for six hours. And then I'm going to pop the lid on it and I'm just going to let this cook for a while. After the about six hours, I'm going to check it and I'm just going to make sure it's cooked thoroughly. And at this point, it'll shred easily. I just shred it with my tongs. And when I'm ready to serve it, I'm going to put it in a bowl. Now you can serve it directly out of the crock pot if you'd like. I don't always like to do that because I don't want too much juice. I prefer it a little on the drier side. Um, I don't like my bread to get soggy, but that's just a personal preference. And when I serve it, I like to serve mine on a hoagie roll. And I like to be generous with horseradish sauce and either cheddar or provolone cheese. Thank you for watching. Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more from me in the future, hit that subscribe button down below and hit the notification bell so you're notified when I upload new videos. I I was, I'm a, it's a big fan of Italian beef. I don't eat a lot of beef. Um, chicken's my go-to for protein, but I love this Italian beef. It's so easy. Um, you can make it in the instant pot. You can make it in the oven. You can make it in the crock pot or slow cooker like I did. I've definitely done a um, done it in the instant pot several times too, but it's just a really good recipe. It's pretty flavorful to me. Uh, I like to serve mine on hoagie buns uh, with either provolone or cheddar cheese and I like horseradish on mine uh, I like it spicy now I don't put as many pepperoncinis in there as I'd like but I do have to cook it to taste for my husband and son so I use like half the jar instead of a full jar but it's just really good it's really tender and it makes for great leftovers I'm not a big fan of leftovers I probably talked about that before but this is one I definitely like um, the second time around, or even the third time, depending on how much everyone else eats. But um, yeah, definitely a good recipe. So let me know in the comments down below, do you like Italian beef? Have you ever made it this way? Um, what's your favorite kind of sandwich as far as a hot sandwich goes? Also, you could substitute chicken with this as well. It's really good with chicken also, but I really just like the beef better. But I think that's about it for now. There's not a whole lot to talk about when it comes to Italian beef other than it's delicious and it's easy. You can set it and you can forget it. All right, I hope you guys have a great day. And don't forget, not every day is good, but there's always something good in every day and I will see you next time.